Zoe and the Fairy Crown. It was the Fairy Queen's birthday. There was going to be a special party. Zoe and Pip flew to the castle, crunching their presents. They were bu bubbling with excitement. The Fairy Queen was in her dressing room, putting on her best party crown. She was delighted with Joey's and Pip's presents. This will be the best party ever, said the Fairy Queen. The elves are doing a big barbecue this evening. Everyone is invited. All the fairies had a wonderful time at the party. There was a competition for formation wand waving and wand for balancing skills. Some fairies did a special magic display. Others tried trampoline. What a surprise! The fairy queen was bouncing on the trampoline. She bounced higher and higher and higher. Then suddenly, the fairy queen's crown flew off her head and into the sky like a rocket. Oh no, said the fairy queen, my party crown. Don't worry, said Joey, we'll find it. The fairies looked everywhere, behind rocks, under toadstools, even in the streams. They searched and searched until it started to get dark. But the crown had disappeared. Just as the sun was setting, Joey had a brilliant idea. We can make light beam with our wings and keep on looking. Zoe and Pip showed all the all the fairies how to flutter their wings in just the right way. In the forest, their elves were building a big fire for the barbecue. Suddenly, a small elf, small elf spotted something very shiny and spiky in the tree. This is perfect for roasting marshmallows, he cried. All the elves gather around the blazing bonfire. The fairies flew in to join them. Sorry we're late, said Joey. We've been looking for the queen's crown, fairy queen's crown. It's lost and the fairy queen is very sad. Cheer up and have something to eat, said the small elf, lowering something bright and shiny over the fire. Marshmallow, anyone? Joey and Pip gasped. It was the fairy queen's crown. Stop, said Joey to the elf. But he couldn't hear over the crackling of the fire. Quick, cried Pip, we must rescue it. But the fire was too hot, and the two little fairies nearly burned their wings. We must use our magic wands. It's the only way. Together, Pip and Joey waved their wands at the crown. I hope this will work, thought Joey to herself. There was a big whoosh and a swirl of sparklings, and the crown fell gently into Joey's hands, all covered in marshmallows. Ooh, Joey, Pip, how clever, said the fairy queen. This is the best birthday present of all.